Hey guys, it's Walt K4OGO. If you subscribe to my channel, you know my thing is operating portable by the sea, usually with a vertical antenna because I live by the sea. And uh, right now I'm working in Poland and I have been experimenting with a lot of different horizontal antennas because I have this big backyard behind me and uh, an opportunity to uh, experiment with different horizontal type wire antennas that I can't do back home. Today I'm going to experiment with an off-center fed dipole. Stick around. The off-center fed dipole, sometimes called a Wyndham, is somewhat like a dipole, but a little different. It's usually a half of a wavelength long, but like the regular dipole, which is fed dead center with a one-to-one -one ballon or choke, this one's a little different. It's offset, so it's at about one-third to two-third, and to feed the impedance, it's given a four-to-one un-un. Uh, which what brings it in. The cool thing about this is that it makes it multi-band. Today I'm going to be using the off-center fed dipole built by Mark, K8MSH, and his dipole works on 40, 20, 10, and 6 meters. This thing is rated for up to 300 watts, and I'll put a link in the, in the description on how to get to his uh, e eBay channel. Let's get this thing up. Okay, there is the off-center fed dipole up in the air. I gotta tell you guys, this is probably an antenna more suited for a permanent installation than what I'm doing here is a somewhat portable or temporary portable install here. Get around here and let you get a better look at it. So what I did, there's the four to one. Okay, and it's going up. And there's a piece of rope, a cord, I should say, a pretty strong cord, tied to it there, up to the top of the window, and then it's down inside onto the handle. So as you can see, here's the back of the house from the four to one coax up to the back room where I'll be operating from. Pretty cool. So this is the uh, shorter end, the one third end, had to do it that way to get the coax to the room. There's the two thirds in, the longer way going down there to the fence at the back of the yard there. So here we go. Let's go see how this thing works. I'll check SWR and uh, and uh, see if we can make some contacts with it. I'm pretty excited about this antenna because I've used it off center fed dipole once before our club has one on the USS Wisconsin and that thing was amazing. So really looking forward to how this thing does. Let's go inside and check it out. Before we go any further, I want to tell you a quick story. A couple years ago, I watched a video on YouTube and it launched this YouTube channel. Uh, the guy was talking about operating by the sea and the DB gain and, and the advantages of a vertical antenna by the sea. Well, this guy inspired me and is the reason why this channel exists. And it is really cool that the first contact I made with this antenna happened to be one of my YouTube ham radio heroes. Mike Casero, X-ray, X-ray Tango, listening. Sierra Papa, stroke Kilo Four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, Sugar Papa, stroke. Uh, I think it's a Kilo Station, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Go again. Uh, QSL, Kilo Four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. How you do, Cal? It's Walt. Uh, you're five nine into Poland. Ah, Walt, nice to nice to bump into you, uh, Walt. Uh, Sugar Papa, stroke uh, K4, O-G-O. -O. Yeah, Walt, uh, you're about uh, five and six from Poland, uh, Walt. Over. Hey, Roger, hey, thanks for taking the call. i got to tell you a funny story. I had an infant halfway up, started catching your feet, was doing nothing, ripped it down, and I put up an off-center fed dive call in the time you've been on the uh, uh, streaming and just got it up. You're the first contact, so thanks for taking it. We've done that inside an hour, Walt. I worked up a sweat, trust me. Uh, it, was a, it was a tough job, but I've got it up, and obviously it's working well. SWR was perfect on it, and uh, thanks for taking the call. It's so great to get through to you. Ah, brilliant. Oh, you, you're the contact of the day then, uh, Walt. Well done, mate. Nothing like it. Uh, have a great weekend, uh, Walt. Uh, SP stroke K4 ATR. 
radio and zero expectations. Good luck, folks. Thank you, Cal. 73. How cool was that, Callum? DX Commander, it was awesome. Um, if you look here at, on my page, uh, he's listed below uh, as one of my favorite YouTubers, and uh, he's got a great YouTube channel. Get over there and check it out. I'm probably telling you this, and you already know it. But anyway, yeah, that was an exciting thing for me. You know, band conditions uh, this past few days here, I guess everywhere, have just been horrible really horrible but with this antenna i was able to work pretty much most of europe if not all of europe on both 40 and 20 meters 10 meters was kind of nah not so great uh but it was wonderful just with 20 watts and my zygu g90 i could work all over europe and i even had one really cool QSO, it was a contest QSO down to amman over 3,000 miles away with just 20 meters so even through these horrible band conditions um I, I, this this thing worked and, and it actually got a, a a pretty cool dx uh qso out of this thing uh roger roger you're five nine uh zero zero six number six number six roger good night well there you go um cool antenna keeping it up i'm going to keep it up for quite a while because i'm looking forward to better conditions and uh and and having some good time working dx with this antenna because i can tell this antenna is a keeper and uh i don't know if i said it earlier i think this antenna would be really well suited for a permanent installation although i've got it up in what's kind of a portable situation um and and it can work it works both ways you could take it portable with you i mean it's a long antenna to take portable in the situations i use but um camping or, or something like that you know the builder actually says it works better in an inverted v situation so this this thing would be great for that but um I really think if I had the uh, the space and place for it, I'd leave this thing up permanently. It's well built, and you can tell it'd be a great uh, permanent antenna to put up. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO73, my friends. See you soon.